So you want to know how to put an obby in Roblox Islands but don't know how you're actually able to do that. Well lucky for you I have built an entire island of all the different things you could use to actually be able to do this. So I'm going to go through each and every one of them, how each of them will work and the difficulty of them. And then at the end of the video I'm going to be building my own obby and showing you a time lapse of doing it. And then hopefully trying to complete it as well but I don't know because it is very difficult. Okay, so first of all, let's start with the basic jump gap blocks. So first of all, we have the two block gap, which is very easy level. We have the still easy level, but a bit harder is the three block gap, which is still quite easy, especially when sprinting. Then we have the slightly harder four block gap, which are, you are not actually able to do while not sprinting. So you have to be sprinting to actually be able to do that. So we've got the two block gap, the three block gap and the four block gap. Next of all, we have the glass pane jumping, the fence pole jumping, and the conveyor belt jumping. So the glass pane jumping consists of, well, glass panes, and they are quite small, so these can be quite difficult things to add to your obby. So if you want to be very mean in your obbies, I would highly recommend adding this. We also have the fence pole jumping, which is just singular fence poles, because if you were to add extra ones just like that, there'd be this platform in between and it'd be much easier to stand on. So just add them as singular ones and then you've got to try and jump onto these. It's kind of like stud jumping if you guys do obbies. They are not the easiest things to do. I'd probably say they are definitely easier in first person. There we go, just like that, which is very cool. Next up, we have the conveyor belt jumping, which can either consist of tier 2 conveyor belts or tier 1 conveyor belts, depending on how difficult you want to make it. So you can see if I was to stand on here, I am moving, so you've got to be quite quick with how you're moving. So yeah, that's quite difficult as well. So these sets, these three are quite good ones to add to your obby if you want to add quite a lot of difficulty to it, which is quite cool. We also have the um, high jump stairs, which are good to use, say you want to add an extra part to your obby, but like there's no room to build forward, you could use one of these. So we have the two block high jump, so these stairs are two blocks high different from each other, which can be quite annoying when done in mass and have to be done quickly. Then we also have the three block high jumps, which are slightly harder. Uh, as you can see, there you go, you just hit your head. So you've got to be careful not to hit your head and actually that you do make it high enough because you'd miss just like that. Then we have the ice block gaps, which are very, very difficult. So we have the four block gap, the five block gap and the seven block gap. So the four block, four block gap can be done normally with just sprinting, but there we go. Okay, so it is very, very difficult because you can see I'm slightly sliding a little bit. So that is not very easy. We have the five block gap, which can be done if you have chilies equipped. So if we get some chilies out and eat, eat one of them, here we go. Eat that and then run. So that can be done with chilies, but it is quite difficult because you know you are, well, 20% quicker. So if you run and then jump on the ice, I say that's quite a good tactic to be able to do that. Then finally, we have the seven block gap, which I don't think is actually possible with just the chili. So what you can use is you can use the broomstick and then just absolutely pelt yourself. But that can be quite hard as well, considering you have the speed of the broom and the speed of the chili. So to be honest, you've got to be very careful with that because that one is quite difficult. Next up, we have the wraparound. So we have the one block wraparound, the two block wraparound and the three block wraparound. So the one block wraparound, very easy. You can just, well, as I do have the chili, it's a bit easier. But you can jump around these without shift lock, absolutely no problem. Then we have the two block long wraparounds, which can also be done. I mean, with the chilies equipped, they can be done without shift lock. But I do find them slightly easier if you do have a shift lock on. There we go, right, the chili's gone now. So if we try and do it, there you go, there's one, there's two. And there's three, there we go. And you can also make it slightly difficult um, if you add the one block gap in between. So you can see here how these have two block gaps. These ones have one block gaps, which do make it quite much harder. Then finally, we have the three block long wraparounds, which can be quite difficult. And if you want to make it even more difficult, you can add the singular block gap in between, which is very difficult if you ask me. So if you are onto being especially mean, make sure you do add that. Then finally, we have the block high jumps. Which you might think, well, how the heck am I going to jump up one of them? Well, the normal three block jump, well, you can pretty much just jump over this normally. There we go, just like that. But then we have the four block jump, which can be almost pretty done normally. If you wiggle yourself a little bit, then you would be able to get up there. But the thing is, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable shift lock. So to enable shift lock, go to settings and make sure shift lock is on as this will not work. 
And then what you want to do is just wiggle your mouse and then you can see you will somehow make it over it. It's called um, wall hopping. So because you just clip the like the slight edge of the block, that's how you get over. So like here as well, you wouldn't think you'd be able to get over this five block gap. If I was just to do this very, very quickly, though, if you move it quicker, the better it is. Come on, quickly jump over this. And then you'll be able to see that hopefully, if this actually works, I will actually be able to do it. There we go. And then we have the very, very difficult and painful six block high jump. Now what I have been done is I've been slightly nicer to myself and added these little um, extendable platforms. Now you do not have to add these, they are just added to make it slightly easier for the person. There we go. <laughs> that was quicker than the five block jump. How the heck did I just do the six block jump higher than the five block jump? Well somehow that doesn't really make sense. Anyway, I have now going to build an obby because I've now shown you anything that we need to add to the obby. So yeah, let's head over to the speed build of the obby. So here is the end result of my obby. Yes, Davey is trying to cheat it. Do not ask me why the heck he is trying to cheat it. But obviously my obby is so good that he wants to. So yep, here is my obby. There we go. I used quite a lot of different things. Look, there's this special one over here as well. Kind of a new obstacle, special will work, but they are quite difficult. So I'm not going to be showing that. But yeah, so there is my obby. Now I will be challenging you guys to this probably in one of the next videos. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.